Blood is primarily a mixture of four substances, plasma, red cells, platelets, and white cells. While each has a very different function, they all work together to nourish, cleanse, and defend the tissue cells of the body. Plasma is a relatively clear liquid which allows suspended cells and particles to move throughout the circulatory and lymph systems as well as between the two systems. Red cells are primarily concerned with transporting oxygen molecules to the tissue cells everywhere in the body, where the oxygen is then used for fuel. Carbon dioxide then is produced as waste, which the red cells then take from the tissue cells and carry them back to the lungs where the carbon dioxide molecules are released. Platelets are not complete cells. They are cell fragments which form clotting actions in order to plug up any breaches in the circulatory system's vessel walls. For example, when a child scrapes a knee, the blood vessel rupture is detected by platelets and they begin to attract to the cut and clog it up, effectively patching it while giving the vessels time to repair the vessel walls. White cells form the core of our immune system. They live in both our blood and lymph systems and account for the most complex relationships in our blood. They defend our bodies from an endless supply of invaders such as bacteria, viruses, fungus, pollens, and toxins. What's more, white cells are adaptive to new invaders and can remember those invaders, keeping specially made fighter cells in hibernation for a certain period of time. The highly specialized functions of white cells fall into five functional groups. The first group of cells is focused on detecting invaders. The second group, signaling the alarm to the other cells to help fight. The third group are on-site fighters. They're ready to go at a moment's notice. Fourth are a group of specialized fighter cells which live in the lymph system. And these cells aren't actually fully mature, but instead, once they are triggered and called into action, they differentiate into mature cells designed specifically for fighting that antigen. And finally, fifth, there are destroyer cells, which also help eliminate the waste created once those invader cells are destroyed. We'll learn a lot more about each of these groups in coming videos.